Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Atmos character of our world around us and this time we will talk about the old book but uh, written by the great uh, ancient Greek moralist and historian and philosopher really uh, great brain uh, and many of the works of this guy whose uh, work we will discuss today uh, managed to survive till our times and this guy I want to talk about uh, was Greek citizen of Roman Empire uh, Plutarch or Plutarchus of Caronea and he is famous from his parallel lives of Roman and Greek uh, great historical figures uh, uh, arranged within pairs very skillfully but he wrote also many other works about morality philosophy and history and one of the works i would like to refer to in this video is entitled on uh, fortune or on the virtue of alexander of course it's a, a short uh, work actually two works like two speeches on alexander the great in which Plutarchus proves that uh, the Alexander uh, clearly shaped his uh, success, his destiny and his life and the goddess Taike who is uh, supposed to uh, according to old ancient beliefs who is supposed to shape the fate of people and their life actually was interrupting Alexander but according to Plutarchus thanks to his philosophical nature because he calls Alexander philosopher in practice thanks to his philosophical nature strong will and talents uh, Alexander opposed Taiki who was working against him this goddess according to Plutarchus and achieved his incredible goals I cannot disagree with Plutarchus with respect to the greatness of the Alexander the Great and his talents and this short work of Plutarchus is a nice uh, discussion about the reasons why Alexander was so successful and of course it gives us some anecdotes known from the Alexander biography like famous anecdote, anecdote about meeting of Diogenes from Sinope uh, with Alexander probably in Corinth where uh, Diogenes asked by Alexander uh, when Alexander asked Diogenes what can I do for you great philosopher Diogenes uh, replied to him stop covering the sun and after encountering such a strange guy uh, Alexander said if I were not Alexander I would like to be a Diogenes so we see that after the meeting of two great individuals we got a very very uh, <laughs> I would say powerful interaction and uh, Plutarchus uses this event to prove that Alexander was also a philosopher but philosopher practitioner because he was practicing his virtues in real life and in his achievements I agree with that because as Plutarchus said Socrates and many other philosophers didn't write anything but their pupils and followers spread their ideas and preserved them till our days so and to sum up I have to say that it's worth reading historical sources one can learn much from them and have also a good fun, a good joy and a real knowledge about the great world of the past from which we originated. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.